want to talk a little bit about transitioning your child to a toddler bed. Now, toddler beds are great, you know, it's really cool, but um, it, it, once you put them in toddler bed, you're starting all over with your sleep training. The only time, I'll tell you, that I really want your child to be in a toddler bed is when they are climbing out of the crib, because that's just dangerous, okay? If, you're, if your 15-month-old, 18-month-old, two, two-and-a-half-year-old is climbing out of the crib, and they're gonna fall and bust their head open, then they need to be out of that crib. They need to be in a toddler bed. And so what do you do? Well, it depends on what type of child you have. Now, I've had two. I have one child that was squirrely as all you can believe, and it's into everything and climbing on top of dressers and everywhere. So for that, we had to take everything out of the room. Take everything out, and you turn the room into a big crib. So there's nothing in there that could hurt them. There's nothing they can play with, and you just put them in the bed. And then after a while, if they show you that they can be safe in there, then you can start adding some soft stuff and then some hard stuff, Make it, you know, so that it's like a bigger crib for them. And then what will happen is, is your child, most children, will try and get out. They'll keep coming out. So you put them down at bedtime, and then they're up, and they're coming in your room. But back to what we talked about before. So you're going to stand outside the door, get yourself a little chair, just sit there, and as soon as you hear the feet hit the floor, you're back in there, and you're like, nope, back to bed, back to bed, over and over again. You're not reinforcing the behavior. Eventually, they will start to stay down. Um, when you're toilet training, when you're ready to go toilet train your child, that's also the time that we say, yeah, it's time to get out of the to out of the crib and put him in the toddler bed. But it's mostly whenever the child's ready. Um, also, you know, with other kids that are more chill, that are fine just sitting in the bed, they seem to listen to you. I was thankful enough to have one of those too. Then, then you can have toys in there from the beginning. But you've got to feel it out. You have to see how they do. Um, getting your child to sleep through the night. Um, and sleep well, and that's important. Okay, it's 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 it really is one of those fundamental child-parent relationships that you've got it. You've got to sleep well, and you've got to eat. You know, and those are the two things. And if you do those things, if you work on sleeping, work on eating, then everything is else is going to fall into place. Uh, when we talk about, you know, it's this may seem kind of harsh or some kind or kind of rough to some parents. And if that's the case, then that's then, then you're not ready for it. Then that and that's perfectly fine. Your parenting style is a little bit different. Um, and that's okay. But research has shown over and over and over again that the so-called cry it out method or the Ferber method, these different ways of trying to encourage your child to sleep, giving them a certain amount of times to just cry, is totally safe and totally effective for this. Um, so go for it. If you're ready to do it, that's fine. That's fine. But remember, and I tell people this all the time, it's important that your child learn to sleep and sleep well by himself. And they can't sleep with you. They've got to realize, hey, I've got to, they've got to make that step. They've got to, they've got to be ready for the next phase. And um, you can't do that if you're still sleeping with your parents or sleeping not through the night.